Are you serious? Are you serious? We've had a solar flare that has erupted on the sun. It is a C1 class explosion. Now, during a solar maximum, such a solar flare would be considered too minor to report. But, however, the sun is close to solar minimum. So even a C flare is noteworthy. Matter of fact, in fact, it is noteworthy because... A C1 class flare releases as much energy as 1 billion World War II atomic bombs. What? 1 billion World War II atomic bombs. And only on the sun, which itself is unbelievably uh, a nuclear explosion itself, really, would such a blast be even considered uh, puny. Because really, it's not puny. I mean, you have to understand the amount of energy that's being released from the sun uh, in these uh, events. So, because of this solar, and the fact that the solar winds, which yesterday were running about 580 uh, 580 kilometers per second. Today, they're right now at 470 kilometers per second. Then you have this C1-class solar flare eruption. So we have CMEs now headed toward us that are going to impact our earth and that we are going to feel them because the winds are blowing strong, it's earth facing, the flare was powerful, and as it comes upon the earth, we're going to feel the effects of it. And the fact that we've had 44 earthquakes in the last 24 hours of of significance says to me that uh, we are already shaking and quaking a lot and... uh, and oh, by the way, while, while this is all going on, 204, 204 fireballs crashing through the Earth's atmosphere in the last 24 hours is insane. But we got all this volatility going on with this hyper, hyper cane or uh, hurricane, hyper cane potentially forming in the Gulf. And excuse me, not the Gulf. I said the Gulf in the Atlantic. And it's headed toward, if it pulls together, if Tropical Storm Gert merges with this storm coming off the coast of Africa, if they merge, it will create the hyper, hyper hurricane of all times. Are you serious? So we're watching it very closely uh, and hoping that that doesn't happen. But there's a real possibility, folks. There's a real possibility. So let's keep a close eye on it. Pray a lot. The east coast of the United States could be threatened by something of biblical proportion. Yellowstone continues to give quakes, and there's the puponic plague in the fleas in Arizona, and some kind of scorpion locust in Arizona that bit this guy in the arm, and uh, sightings have been seen in the state of Arizona. So we don't know what's going on in Arizona, but... um, we, we can definitely see that we're in the last days. We'll talk about all of this in our live broadcast today. It starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't worry. Calm down. Get some coffee, everybody. You got Jesus in your heart, right? You don't? That's what you need to do.